Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by the president of the National Partnership for Healthcare and Hospice Innovation and the host of the number one podcast, The Girlfriends. The newest season is out with The Girlfriends, Our Lost Sister. We welcome host Carol Fisher. Sean, thank you for having me. Gosh, this is fabulous. Thank you. Carol, let's go beyond the mic. The Girlfriends tell the amazing true story of a group of women who came together bringing a murderer to justice for Gail Katz. Why was season one so important for you to tell? Oh, my gosh. Season one was important to tell because we had a story that other people needed to know about. But more importantly, people needed to be educated about domestic violence. So we weaved in a partnership with No More. Uh, They're a global not-for-profit dedicated to ending domestic violence and sexual assault and increasing awareness and you know, I, I just want to say early on, like one in three women, Sean, have been a victim at some point in their lives of domestic violence and one in four men. So the stats are staggering and the girlfriend season one really helped to make a difference. But back to the essence of the story, you know, we were just kind of sleuth detectives doing the right thing and uh, coming together from the West Coast to the family on the East Coast to bring justice to Gail Katz, whose life was taken by her husband. It was a life taken way too short and way too brutally. And uh, it was important for us to to tell the story. In season two of The Girlfriends, Our Lost Sister, your amateur detective social club comes together to identify a torso of a woman who washed up on Staten Island. And that was at one point, misidentified as Gail. What part of this story haunted you? You know, it it haunted us that we were done with season one and listeners were writing to us saying, hey, what about the torso? And it haunted us that we we didn't want to leave anyone behind. And we had this unidentified Jane Doe. It became just an ethical, like moral obligation to say, okay, who is she? Let's give her a voice. We started the investigation. Uh, We collaborated with DNA Doe Project. They're a not-for-profit organization. They specialize in investigative genetic genealogy to identify Jane and John Doe's. Um, And uh, amazing. Um, a, a special shout out to Raul Montero, who runs that, established it back in 2017. It's a not for profit. These guys are all volunteers, right? So anyway, we we start our investigation. Um, you know, Mindy Shapiro, Dr. Mindy Shapiro, my dear friend, who actually fixed me up with the murderer. I just want to say that for the record, Sean. Um, <laughs> no, no problem. I, I don't hold that against her. But um, you know, she took such a lead role. In this investigation with Anna Sinfeld from Novel, uh, you know, and all of us, we solved the crime and brought justice, not justice. We brought a voice to the Jane Doe. I don't want to give a spoiler alert, but we brought justice in terms of giving her a voice and she needed her story told. Why was giving people a voice important for you? You know, I started my career as a social worker. You know, I'd like to think that every day when I get up, um, I just want to make the world a better place. I've spent my life working in social impact. So how, how could it not be important to make sure that someone whose life was cut short um, wasn't, her story wasn't told? Uh, That became really important for all of us, not just me. It, it it just became like, it was the right thing to do. I don't know how else to say it, Sean, just the right thing to do. Host of The Girlfriends, our lost sister, Carol Fisher, joins us beyond the mic for The Rocking Eight. Eight random questions. Carol, all you got to do is answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There's no pressure. Okay, here we go. What's the best thing about your daughter, Brooke, as she grew up? Oh my gosh, I, <laughs> what a great question. Best thing about my daughter is that she is she loves drama and theater and she loves to perform and I will forever uh, see her performances in my mind for the rest of my life. What makes your photo of a pig wearing a birthday hat with a noisemaker in his mouth make you smile? Oh my God, my pig Rose, she died this past year. I miss her so much. I, I love pigs. They are intelligent animals. And uh, you really did your homework on me, Sean. Um, you, you know, my pigs and, and her sister still alive. They are just fun pets. And um, I don't eat pork. Yeah. 
Favorite moment at Mardi Gras? Favorite moment at Mardi Gras? Oh my gosh. When Anna came over, Anna Sinfield from Novel, who produced The Girlfriends from London, came over this past year and spent Mardi Gras with us. Uh, and she just happened to be in town during Mardi Gras. And yeah, it was fun to watch her face light up. Best place to relax on vacation? Oh my gosh. You know, we built a property here um, outside of New Orleans where we don't need to leave much because it's an oasis that we're on. But uh, my second favorite place would be the beach. I love the ocean. Carol, which person inspires you today? Oh my gosh, there's so many. You know, my daughter really inspires me, Sean. My daughter inspires me. She has a young baby. She's running a, a children's theater company that she started herself in the Bay Area. And uh, she and her husband just rock it. They have two children. And uh, yeah, she just she's just a good, good person. I'm so proud of her. Do you remember your dreams when you sleep? Sometimes. And sometimes they are not so good. Oh, my gosh. But sometimes they're OK. Yeah. But sometimes I do remember. Carol, what was yeah. your parents' greatest sacrifice? Oh, their greatest sacrifice. You know, I think my mom had to really come to terms with some dysfunction in her childhood. And um, yeah, and that helped me be a better person. Who was the last early childhood friend you talked to was whom? Childhood friend, the last one I talked to recently. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, Lori Bender over um, Facebook, you know, what do you call it when you're texting each other through Facebook? Um, messenger. Yeah, thank you, Messenger. And uh, oh my God, me and social media, I struggle. Um, and, you know, she reached out to remind me what a wonderful man um, and fond memory she has of my grandfather, actually. Yeah. Host of The Girlfriends, our law sister, Carol Fisher, joins us beyond the mic for the back half. Carol, your three guiding principles are taking out the trash, practicing self-compassion, saying yes to your mess, and telling your story before somebody else does. What was the hardest to learn for you? Oh my gosh, taking out the trash, I'd have to say. Let's start there. You know, I never told people I dated a murderer. I never said that I dated someone. Um, even though it was a short period of time, I had a lot of shame and regret about that. So as I started to tell the world, through this podcast, um, which I thought would be like a couple thousand people, not millions, Sean. Um, what I realized is that we all have a responsibility to ourselves to tell our story before someone else does. And that we all make mistakes and we all have things we don't like and we regret, but it's okay. It's just part of being who we are. Thank you for looking that up on my uh, pay on my website. Gosh, you really got to know me. I, I gosh, I'm gosh, Sean, I'm really blown away. That's what Beyond the Mic is here to do. Not be a typical interview. Do you have a fourth guiding principle that you only use for family? I would ask that my family, and I do ask my family for and myself that what we do each and every day is to live better today than we did yesterday. You know, just learn from our mistakes, let them go, and just, you know, let's all be a better person today than we were yesterday. And that is a guiding principle for me and my family. Now, Kara, you started your life as a social worker. You brought that up earlier and was an executive director for a nonprofit in Las Vegas. How did those early moments help guide you for today? Oh, my gosh. Everything that I've done in my career has been has taken me to this moment. It's amazing. So yeah, I started my career as a social worker. I worked in behavioral health care. And today I work in end of life care. And I work for Hellsperian, which is a public policy firm in DC. They're a boutique organization and the national partnership for healthcare and hospice innovation is one of their um, larger clients. And I'm happy to serve um, and bring my skills as a social worker, bring my skills as an impact leader um, to this organization. And we're doing amazing work. We represent about 107 not-for-profit hospices throughout the country. I'm proud to serve. And um, I actually thought when I did The Girlfriends, they were going to fire me because, you know, I, I cuss like a sailor in The Girlfriends and I divulge things about my personal life. And I thought, oh, God, these guys are not going to want me at the helm, but they've embraced me. And now 
what we're doing is taking a look at elder abuse, elder abuse and neglect, and really making a difference and shining a light on that. So thanks for letting me do that shout out. You're a global ambassador for No More, which is working toward the end of domestic and sexual violence. What's the hardest thing people have to understand about this fight, which seems never ending? It's a it's a health crisis. It's a health crisis that people don't want to talk about. People are not comfortable talking about. You know, who wants to say, hey, I'm living with someone that's hurting me physically, emotionally, you know, spiritually. And so what I love that's happened is that people reach out to me almost every day saying, you know, thank you for making it okay to talk about. And um, when you know that one in three women have at some point during their lives been a victim of domestic violence, that we're not alone. We're all connected together. And so No More at nomore.org is um, there to help. And it's been a privilege um, and honor to be their ambassador and raise awareness. Yeah. How has working on this project helped you and the girlfriends try eliminating domestic violence one bad actor at a time? Well, I think it's brought all of us closer together. And when you feel this collaboration and closeness and you feel like we all understand each other and there's no judgment, you can get a lot done. And that's what's happened. We were getting a lot done. So um, it's a privilege to work with No More. They get a lot done. They are raising awareness one voice at a time. And that's what we've done with the girlfriends. The Girlfriends, Our Lost Sister is the podcast. Carol Fisher joined us beyond the mic. No spoilers. We do not allow spoilers here. Mm -hmm. But is there an episode of season two of The Girlfriends, Our Lost Sister, which will shock people and perhaps spur them to action? Oh, gosh. I think the entire five-part series of five episodes will spark people into action and will remind people that we shouldn't judge um, we shouldn't, um, y- 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 let's give up judgment of people that were less fortunate uh, than ourselves, um, than some of us, and that we are all just people doing the best we can. So listen to it. It's great. Um, it builds on season one and it's, it's worth the listen to. You're all about telling your story. Why is that so important for you? Well, it wasn't actually that important to me in the beginning, Sean. Um, It just became important, and it's been a very freeing experience to me. And for other women out there that are feeling alone um, or feeling shameful or feeling regrets, you know, join me in saying it's okay to say yes to the mess. Embrace all those messy parts of us, the good and the ones that we regret, because that's how we're shaped. That's how we, that's how we grow and uh, live better lives. As you go out into the world speaking to others, what's the one message you want to share? The message I want to give at the end of the day is own your story, rock your story, tell your story and tell it with color, you know, tell it in color and be the best person you can possibly be. And when you are your best self, you are a better human being for the rest of the world. Why should people listen to The Girlfriends, Our Lost Sister? I think people should listen to The Lost Sister because we give justice to our Jane Doe in a way that's very unique and very compelling, and you'll feel a part of that journey. And it's a really special story. Yeah. Time for one big question with Carol Fisher, host of The Girlfriends, Our Lost Sister, Beyond the Mic. When your days on the earth are done, how do you want people to remember you and the adversity you overcame? Oh, my gosh. You have some great questions, Sean. So, you know, remember me with humor and love and that I lived my life. I tried to live it with style and grace and just do the right thing. I hope that's how I'm remembered. Let's sneak in a couple more. You said we need more of. What do we need more of in this world? I'd like to see a lot more kindness. I'd like to see a lot more forgiveness. I'd like to see a lot less judgment. And uh, I'd like to see a lot more unity. Like, it's okay to disagree with each other. Could we just respect each other, for goodness sake? So I, I, if I could wave a magic wand, I would wave that and, and bestow that on all of us. Why is this family of the girlfriends important to you? The family and the girlfriends is important to me because they're just an incredible group of, of people. And um, yeah, they needed a story told. So, yeah. 
So how important is that core group of the girlfriends? Well, the core group of the girlfriends will always be here, you know, and we're going to support the next upcoming core group. So uh, season three has a new host uh, with a new story. And I'm looking forward for the listeners to get to know her and her story. But the core group will never break up. We are closer than ever, and we will remain friends and family for life. Her daughter inspires her, loves the beach, and she wants you to listen to The Girlfriends, Our Lost Sister, wherever you can find podcasts. Carol Fisher, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Sean, you're amazing. Thanks for having me. It's been a real privilege. And that, my friends, is Beyond the Mic. If you're enjoying these conversations, please check out another Beyond the Mic episode to find more actors, artists, and people you need to know. We'd also appreciate a like and subscribe on the Good Pods app.